what impossible levels would be verified? Sure, impossible levels aren't supposed to be possible, but the GD community keeps pushing the human limits at rapid speeds. Abyss of Darkness is a Russian mega cloud hosted by Nairo, and the layout was first previewed way back in January 2018. This just goes to show how old this is. The level was eventually finished in October 2018, and Nairo, the host, began verifying it. He uploaded a few progress videos, and even ended up beating the level back in December 2018. But, I definitely think this was not legitimate. Abyss of Darkness at the time was miles harder than the top one back then, that being Zodiac. And to add on to this, many accusations about Nairo were released, further ruining his credibility. Since then, he has unlisted or deleted the video, probably not to earn his declining reputation at the time. And just like that, the level was completely forgotten. Until a player by the name of Dill Stick began making progress on it back in July 2020. He was showing promise as a verifier, except for the fact that he wasn't the official verifier until June 2021, but let's ignore that for now. And over the year, his progress videos started attracting more attention. This inspired Nairo to start redecorating parts of the level, since the level was seriously outdated, being 3 years old as of writing the script. The redecoration was happening while Dill Stick was making progress on the level. However, because of that, the community worried that the redecoration wouldn't be finished by the time Dill Stick verified the level. But then, Dill Stick got a 98% fail, which I think is the worst fail in GD history to date. However, Dill Stick's horrible luck wouldn't end there. Just 3 weeks later, Dillstick would get another 98% fail, which would demotivate Dillstick so much that he ended up dropping the level entirely. Despite Nairo's efforts to get the level verified with an open verification, no one to this day has beaten Abyss of Darkness. But I do think there is hope. There are still players progressing on the level, with the biggest progress so far being 57%. All we need is someone motivated, and willing enough to put themselves through hundreds of thousands of painful attempts to finish off this legendary impossible level. Another impossible level that could possibly be beaten is Death Quarter by Chaotic Jumper. Back in October 2015, Chaotic Jumper released one of the most well-known impossible levels to date, that being Death Corridor. After getting a Tosh Deluxe upload on his Impossible Level series, the level skyrocketed into fame, despite Chaotic being a completely unknown creator. However, after that, the level would start slowly fading away, like a one-hit wonder. That's until a player by the name of Kugelitz began making progress on the level. Keep in mind that Kugel's hardest at the time was problematic. And after telling Chaotic about the progress, he was given the official rights to being the verifier of the updated version. Later on, a creator by the name of Blair Sipe would remake Death Quarter into Death Quarter Finale in the later end of 2016. Kugel loved this version, but Skyjax was the official verifier for now. But then, Chaotic would give Kugel the new version. However, there was a catch. Kugel would have to race with the old verifier, Skyjax, to be the first to beat it. Despite Kugel being at a massive disadvantage, being on 60Hz, he kept on going anyway. And after Skyjax only dropping in only a few short days, Kugel would be the last man standing in this short race. Our next big competitor to Kugel would be Noctify, as he was making quick progress on the level. This gave Kugel a lot of pressure, after many people complained that Kugel is a slow verifier. Chaotic even threatened Kugel multiple times that he would give verification rights to Noctify, but Kugel always found ways to get it back. Chaotic even promised Kugel that he would have Kugel as the official verifier, unless he dropped out. A few months later, Noctify would get 88%, even after Chaotic deemed Kugel the official verifier. Understandably, this made Kugel upset. But the community attacked Kugel for being salty and that he wasn't as good as Noctify. To make matters even worse, the same day, Noctify had supposedly verified Death Quarter, and the community was excited for a new potential top 1. But Kugel had a suspicious feeling that Noctify had hacked it. 
So, with a few huge community figures and a few months later, Google finally released the exposing video. Later on, Noctifly would confess to hacking and would quit the level entirely. And after many, many years of inactivity from tech issues, demotivation, many remakes, he finally got the right time to grind out the level in 2020. And in March 2020, he would get 40% and continue buffing it from there. But later in August of the same year, Dr. Joe would leak Death Quarter with an unlisted hack. And after many people calling the level easy, while doing the easiest runs on the level, Kugel reached his limit and blocked off the GD community. Later on, Dr. Joe would apologize to Kugel for leaking the level. However, recently, Kugel announced that he isn't ready for the level, despite pouring in hundreds of thousands of attempts into the level. His most impressive runs to date are 38 to 152 percent. I definitely think that Kugel will one day in a year or two verify this absurd impossible level. And the impossible level that I think is closest to verification currently is Silent Club Step. I do not believe I'm saying this right now. Silent Club Step was a hack verified impossible level created by Salent. The level is horribly balanced with the intro being as hard as 24 to 100. However, the level would have to be bug fixed in the 2.1 update. This was due to many changes in the game's physics, including ship movement, layered orbs, and frame stutters that made the 8 jumps of hell impossible. Hyperbola would be the first person to make serious progress on the level, holding multiple world records. His most famous records would be 24 to 114 percent, but none had beaten the unbalanced intro as mentioned before. So, the challenges player by with Pakwe took matters into his own hands. And in 4 days, he finally reached the drop, getting a new world record with 25%. This sparked a lot of excitement in the community, as the level had been done in 2 runs by then. The next world record would appear 3 months later, not by Hyperbola, not even Pakwe, but a player by the name of Vision. He would get an impressive 31%, barely missing the ball part. However, unlike Pakway, this wouldn't be the end of Vision. Vision would also get another insane run from 14 to 100. Things seemed to go silent, until... On February 19th, Vision would drop 4 world records in one video. 0 to 33, 5 to 65, 9 to 72, then lastly, 12 to 74. This seemed absolutely huge, something that would take months to overtake. But then, out of absolutely nowhere, this happened. Vision would reach 65% from zero. This is the final grind, only a matter of time before this gets legitimately beaten. In the meantime, go check out my video on the last potential top 1.